Hello Leo, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your April 2023 mini tarot reading. We're going to take a little shuffle here in a minute, see what's coming up for you, but I'd like to make a little announcement beforehand. Let me cut these here so we're all set to go. Um, I will be at Spirit Fest in Daytona, Florida on April 29th and 30th of this year. And I just wanted to invite you to stop by. If you're in the area, stop by and see me. Stop by for a reading. Stop by and enjoy the show. I did, um, I did attend a show in Punta Gorda last year put on by Spirit Fest, and I was so impressed about the, it was so professional. There was great readers there. The vendors had just fantastic items. It was just a really well done, so I decided, you know, maybe I got to see if they'll take me, and if all goes well, it looks like it's going to, I'll have a booth there, and I definitely want to do the one in Punta Gorda this fall in September. I will post that information down below. And then one other thing, if you'd like a, <coughs> excuse me, a reading just about you, I've included my website down below, www.soulstarbliss.com, or you can also book me at readings by Judy, J-U-D-I-E. Those are the only two places uh, someone's parading around pretending to be me, so if you don't book me there, it's not me. Also, they've been asking for money. I do not ask you for money. I never have. I never will. So if someone's asking you for money and pretending to be me, it ain't me. So let's take a look here. I did a leather shuffle just because. <coughs> oh, gosh, excuse me here. I better take a drink of water. Oh, dry throat. Sorry. Here we go. Let's see what's coming up for you, Leo, in April. Oh, my goodness. Here, let's take a look. There we go. Okay, it looks like finances seem to have improved somewhat, but you're getting ready to make some kind of choices about that. I don't know if you're thinking about retiring or changing jobs or investing or whatever, but it looks like, take your time with that, but some decisions are, it looks like are definitely gonna be made for some of you this month. <clears throat> In the past, because of obligations, things had to change. You are a powerful manifester. So if you want something done, get busy on it. Now is a perfect time to do that for yourself. It says, sometimes you have a tendency to give your power away. This has been a theme today. You should be, you know, you should be not, if you want to say no, remember it's okay. Foolishly, we always say yes, 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 yes. And guess what? We get depleted. We have nothing left for ourselves. So you might want to change that a little bit. Don't let guilt from the past rule today. Okay, uh, Nine of Cups says wishes granted, which means this is a time for you to put into practice what you really want in your life. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious. It looks like it's a time where you can map it out yourself, for some of you anyway. You're stronger than you realize, and that feeling of being alone, you're not alone anymore. For some reason, you know you're not, and that makes things a little easier for you. It says here, abundance is yours too. Also, it could be pregnancy, so if you <laughs> if you don't want to be pregnant, you know what to do. Um, a lot of people, you seem to be helping a lot of people around you or doing things for them. You need to make sure you're doing things for you also because, you know, you get real tired and you get run down, you get sick, and you don't want to do that. I'm not saying you're going to get sick, but make sure you're taking care of yourself, getting enough rest, taking care of that toothache, your eyes, or whatever it is that's bothering you. Preparedness or Preparedness in reverse says to look back to how you got to where you are right now. There's been a lot of change for you over the last few years here, it looks like. And most of it very positive. And it says you have the star card, which means you got a lot of uh, energy and spirit help around you. Um, don't let someone talk you out of the things you want. Remember, this is your life. Okay, if you want things a certain way, they can be that way. <coughs> Excuse me. It says that you can, those wants, wishes, and dreams you have, get to them before it's too late. I, I don't know why, that some of you need to hear that. Or somebody, I think there's more than one person. When you make decisions and make a commitment with yourself, things start falling into place. I know it's hard, especially as a mom or a grandma or a great grandma, to put yourself first, but it says here if you do that, everything else will become easier. There'll be reasons to celebrate. They'll get used to it. <laughs> Those around you, family and friends, they'll get used to it. It says here we can't change the past, so don't be a prisoner of the past. Gosh, I don't know how many 
time has just come up, so it must be for all signs, all of us. There's things in the works for you that you've um, planted seeds for. Maybe it's time to nourish those seeds, water those seeds, do those things that you think you need to do for yourself first before honoring others, because you are a chariot, one who definitely can achieve greatness. <coughs> Being fearful to make choices. Okay, you know, gee, I need to get out of the darkness, but then we him, we ha, huh, we don't do it. And so there's gaiety in the midst of change. Sometimes it's good to sit in the darkness and not know what's going on, but to fix things or make things better, we have to have the, the courage just to set, you know, take that first step. And after that first step, it'll be a lot easier. I feel like some of you are wanting to do some travel and you've kind of put that off, um, but you, I see travel coming up for you um, and it's gonna be great, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be something you've wanted to do for a long time. And you know what, have no guilt, have, enjoy yourself. It says, don't let, um, don't let someone make you feel guilty for doing what you wanna do. I, that's really important that you hear that message because there's nothing wrong with wanting to do something, you know, like travel or move or, you know, just retire, whatever it is, or begin a new business. It does not matter what it is. If it's something you want to do, maybe you should find a way to do that, to, to satisfy that need or that want. I do feel like um, um, relationship is growing stronger because of talk things that are done, things that are shared. I feel that there's finally lots of sunshine on your earth walk right before you. Counsel that's needed, get it. Whether it be two friends talking, a lawyer, a doctor, whatever it might be. You don't have to, you know, be the strong one and be able to fix everything for everybody. Take care of you first and, and you're going to eliminate a lot of um, issues that could be coming up. New beginnings right now are definitely possible. It seems like just before you, especially if this seems to be improvement in finances. It's like for the first time you're realizing that finances can come really easy or uh, a plan with them makes it grow. I'm not sure exactly how to say that because it's different for different folks, but it's not like you're, um, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul anymore. And that's, you know, happy for you because um, when, when you don't have enough money to pay your finances, it can be pretty stressful. Does look like there's definite change coming um improvement in a family member that like i don't know if it's a child or um or um an auntie or something like but i feel like there's a female with lighter hair that's really going to be um improving they've been in the dark i don't know if they lost somebody or they just are really down and depressed but it seems like something's getting better for them okay and it's some of it is from things you've said or done uh, in a good way, not not the bad part, <laughs> the, the making it better for them. And again, we can't make someone see something they're not ready to see, but I just feel like this person is looking. Is that for everyone? No. I don't know who this light-haired woman is, but she is going to realize what a help you have been rather than, than thinking you're a hindrance, I guess. I hate saying it like that, but that's kind of how I heard it. So stop worrying about everybody else. Get yourself ready to go. And really, it just seems like if you can do this once and for all, put yourself first and not worry about what others say, I just feel like it's going to be, you're going to be really happy. You're going to slip back to the guilt once in a while, but don't let that happen. It's like a new beginning, or you're going to see how, how wonderful everything can be just by a few little minor changes that you make in the way you're thinking. And with that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss Leo. Thank you so much for dropping by, and I'll see you again next month.